Right now, if you have a good idea, you could win a lot of money for it if you enter the Minnesota Cup. The competition is it's in, is in its 13th season and is the largest statewide startup competition in the entire country. The prize money in eight separate categories has grown to nearly half a million dollars. And joining us to talk about the competition is its co-founder, businessman Scott Lemon. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for having me on. All right, well listen, I, I have done a story on this every year for 13 years, yep. I can't believe it's that long. <laughs> I mean, you have really grown enormously, both in prize money, in terms of the categories, everything. Absolutely. So in the first year, we had one division for all comers and $35,000 in prizes. Now there are eight divisions, nearly a half million dollars in prizes. And in those 13 years, our top finishers have raised nearly $250 million uh, in capital, uh, and investment. All right, so there are eight separate categories. We're going to put up those categories right now because the breadth of categories I think is really cool and exciting. Uh, energy, clean tech, water, food, ag, be uh, beverages, general, high tech, life science, health IT, uh, and I know coming up we've got a couple of uh, impact ventures, student undergraduates, graduate students, and even a category for 18 and under. Yep. All right, tell us about the prize money in each category. So each category has $30,000 for a grand prize, and then all of the winners of the different categories compete for another $50,000 uh, uh, prize. It's the grand prize for all the Minnesota Cup. And the idea of the categories is to make sure that we have uh, an area for all types of entrepreneurs with appropriate judges and mentors okay. uh, as they advance through the competition. And we have a link on our website to your website where you can go and enter online. Is there a fee for entering? It is absolutely free and they enter online, they can edit and revise their idea as much as they okay. want through the end of April. All right, and uh, you know, just uh, talk about a range, I think your grand prize winner last year was stem cell research yes. startup, but somebody who else did really well in the food category were a couple of women who had infused vodkas. Absolutely, so the idea is that we have entrepreneurs in all these categories, because there's, there's, there's tech entrepreneurs, there's no tech, there's ag and food, there's you know, uh, uh, clean uh, energy, and we want to make sure that all entrepreneurs believe they have a home and an opportunity with the Minnesota Cup. And so the, it's open right now, and when does it end? We've got a few uh, weeks. April 28th. So when the application And so they closed. have through the end of April, they've got several weeks, and that first round is really just four questions, about two pages to three pages of content, really an executive summary. And if they advance to the next round, then we look for a, a presentation and a uh, formal business plan. Okay, how far along do you have to be? Because I think a lot of people are intimidated, saying, well, I don't have any employees, I, you know, I just have a, an idea. Is yeah. that enough? So that's a great question because we really get people at the idea stage, at the pre-revenue stage, as well as people that are in business up to a million dollars, and they all compete against each other. And when we get to the division finals, we see a healthy mix of those people that are still building the business, building the plan, as well as those that are early stage in market. Uh, and they're all competing against each other. And you have people coming back who don't win in their category and they come back the next year when it's more developed. Absolutely, we have participants from last year that are in the next year and they become semifinals. We have semifinals that have gone on and won the competition. So yes, it is. it can be iterative and it can be multi-year for some people. All right, well it's very cool. As I said, we do have the link on our website and really congratulations to you and Dan Mal and the folks at the Carlson School because this is really taking off here. Thank you very much. All right, absolutely, well thank you.